You know, I'm actually starting to think that maybe Marjorie Taylor Greene is some kind of psyop that the Democrats put in place to make the Democratic Party look better. Because I swear to God, every single thing Marjorie Taylor Greene does seems like it's an intentional effort to make Republicans look bad, stupid, corrupt, whatever it is. And she is the queen of it. I mean, she's only been, you know, in politics since 2020. So we've only had to deal with her for two and a half years now. But my God, nobody has done a better job of making the Democrats look like the party to be in better than Marjorie Taylor Greene. And of course, she has a new plan that is definitely going to help the Democrats and make the Republicans look like the party of idiots that they are. Because her new plan, she says, is to release the January 6th footage, the very same footage that was given to Tucker Carlson earlier this year, you know, before he was canned by Fox News. She wants to give it to more reporters because she believes fully, okay, this footage is going to exonerate these people that she still stands by. And of course, as I talked about a couple days ago, thinks that they were set up by the honeypots that the DOJ put in place in the riot. And she says, if we give this footage to more reporters and put more of it out there and remind everybody in the country about January 6th, then uh, <laughs> she doesn't go on because there's no point to that. Here's the funny thing about it. Marjorie Taylor Greene is incapable of like learning, I'm pretty sure. Because earlier this year, Tucker Carlson, in a much hyped thing with Fox News, started releasing the footage. And of course, he selectively uh, edited the footage. He got to pick and choose what he wanted to do. And he released footage of the rioters when they were just walking through the halls. Right? He didn't get the pictures of the people breaking stuff and, and stealing, you know, the speaker's lectern, didn't get footage of the people with their feet up on the desk, stealing laptops and crap like that. Didn't get video of the zip tie guy jumping over the thing. Nope. Just people walking around and said, well, look at this. Everybody's just walking around. And you know how big of a flop it was? It was such a big flop that Fox did not continue airing it. It was supposed to be a multi-part series and they just friggin' quit. They were like, this is not helping us at all. Like, so we're going to stop. Tucker Carlson just dropped it because they realized what was happening in response to it. What happened in response, and this is what Marjorie Taylor Greene didn't learn, and she apparently wants it to happen again, was that the footage that we had seen from that day, the footage that did air, the footage that was publicly available, guess what? Media outlets started showing that in response to Fox news, showing the footage of the people just walking to remind everybody what actually happened that day. And of course it had the opposite effect as to what Tucker Carlson and Fox wanted it to have. People remembered how horrified and shocked they were that day. The media once again had to play the images. They had to show these horrific acts committed by these Trump supporters and idiot Marjorie Taylor Greene is out there saying, well, let's do it again. Oh boy. Sure. Honestly, I have no problem with this. I think it's wonderful. I think it's great because it's going to once again, remind everybody in this country that Marjorie Taylor Greene stands with the Capitol rioters, that Marjorie Taylor Greene and her Republican party are the people who basically did this. They may not have been a part of the mob, but plenty of them were cheering them on you know, in between running for their lives and all that. Remember Josh Holly running through the hallway, you know, the big manly man, he's got a book on manliness and he gave him the fist earlier. And then he's like, ah, I gotta get out of here. Like a friggin' cartoon character. Yeah. Go ahead and show the footage again, Marge, because the footage of what actually happened, the violence committed by the people that you call your base, it's all going to come back out. And especially before a very contentious 2024 election, this would be the dumbest thing you could do for the Republican party, but probably the best thing that you could do to help the Democrats. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.